getting to and from the boat is getting a bit difficult over these gullies. So first job, let's make some bridges. Right, so we dismantled our pool at home to build a big shed and we were left with all this old wood. So we may as well put that to some use and build a bridge with it, haven't we? So if we just basically cut all these down to about 600 mil, cut these in half, these are three meters long, they're going to be 1.5 meters, screw them to them and we'll have a ready-made bridge we can just go and drop into place. It's snowing! It's nice doing a job and it doesn't cost you anything because we've even got all the old deck screws. <laughs> Three bridges made, so let's go back to the boat and fit them over the gullies. That's going to be like three years coming, though, isn't it? Why didn't we do this at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a jumping over big things and slipping and stuff like that, so should do the job. Oh, hold on, we need to get some steaks. Oh, steak. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm so goodness. hungry. Right, so we've got our bridges to the mud. Now we need to take these across the mud to span the gullies, don't we? So come on then, we've got our wellies on, so let's do it. I hope it's big enough. <laughs> Where do you want it? Yeah, right there will do. You think? Oh, Splash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to you a bit? Yeah. A bit more. Okay. Oh. So won't these just float away? Ah, not after we stake them in. Oh yeah, steaks. Oh, steaks. Right, let's put the other one down and then um, we'll go and get the steaks. Way! <laughs> oh, that's so much better. Yeah. I won't fall in anymore. This is what we normally have to do. <laughs> So we have got a little bridge already, this one this one lasted, but I refuse to stand on it because it's that muddy. You slip over, don't you? Yeah. Well this looks pretty, doesn't it? And as well, it's somewhere for the trolls to hide. <laughs> Under the bridge. <laughs> it's the troll bridge. Yeah, she got a little sign. Can you see my hammer when I'm hitting it, yeah? <laughs> the colour of it. <laughs> Camouflage is in well, that one. <laughs> so, you, so you can take us a hammer. <laughs> so, thank you, Ian, for the hammer. It's awesome. Yeah, because me, me and my camouflage pants. That's all we can see. We can only see all, the hammer. All it's going to be is a hammer <laughs> going across the screen. <laughs> Something came off in a minute. So, obviously, we have to stake these in quite well because when we get a high water, we don't want them to float away. Oh, 
They were about five foot long, them stakes. I don't think you need to go all the way in. I was very tired though. <laughs> very tired, boy. Do you want me to have a go? Well, I'm tempted to screw them in and cut them off. Yeah, I think you, don't, you need to go all the way. No, because I'm putting them in on an angle. Because obviously when something goes up, it could technically pull your ten peg straight out. But if you put them in on an angle, then when the whole thing tries to go up, it's not going to come out, is it? Hopefully. Technically. It's quite heavy, that, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> The camera comes out. Should have a target on it. <laughs> I need to hold two hands, it's too heavy. And we're going in. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's doing anything. <laughs> Can you hold it while that hammer? Do you know at the fair when like you have to hit the Yeah, it feels like a big comedy you know, yeah. strength test. It doesn't help like I'm holding my hand instead high up either. That's it, go see it that way. I would come over your side, but you're still you're still on the bridge. Can you come over this and hold it? And then I can use two hands with my big hammer. So you're asking me to like hold that? Yeah. While you hit it with a hammer? Yeah. Okay. She's going. Oh, hang on. Ooh, Go on. <laughs> nice, nice shot of surrender in the background. It's going to wobble now, you haven't got hold of it. <laughs> Is that deep enough? Why didn't we bring the post knocker over? Oh, it's got a big hammer. Got a big post knocker over there. Alright, that'll, that'll probably do, won't it? That's it's in about... 20 feet that <laughs> they were eight meters long weren't they <laughs> <laughs> right so we're gonna put more in it or i think two's enough it's not gonna float away is it i think two's enough my energy level <laughs> right so let's screw them put the other ones in and get to... on the way home we'll just bring a saw and cut them off on the way back good plan or you can have those little handle or you can put a notice board on it <laughs> so beware of trolls <laughs> <laughs> this is a troll bridge. <laughs> right, to the next one. Check that out. You're going to shower something if you get it dirty, are you? <gasps> you got mud on your new bridge. <laughs> Brunel and Trevific will be really impressed with that. Who? Yeah. Brunel and Trevific. Who are they? Bridge makers. Oh. <laughs> or a Thomas Telford. Yeah, we made bridges. Yeah. There you go, we're now in the leagues of Thomas Telford. Yeah, our names will go down in history. Solid that. It's going to be good if we could just build one big bridge for this. <laughs> So we are back in the engine room today, so let's get straight in it and onto some more woodwork. Right, so we've got a, a wonky stringer, but to access the stringer we need to take this floor out. And while I'm taking the floor out, I think Gemma's going to get this web frame prepped um, that we made earlier. Oh, it's bouncing back a bit, see it? Sometimes they just stay exactly where you leave them, but then well, it's not too bad, I suppose. Let's well, see so if we can get it out. Right, one web frame for you, Gemma. I'll bring it back when it's ready. Thank you. Right, now she's gone, let's get this floor out. 
We're going to spend five minutes trying to undo these bolts. Very doubtful they're going to come undone, but we'll give them a try and then if not, we'll cut them in the grinder. They look a little bit cleaner, but well, let's see if we find a spanner to fit those. If we get some really poor quality shots, it's because I'm like squatting in the bilge. Well, let's get a spanner and see if we can undo them. Oh yeah. How bad is it? 80 years in a bilge. It's good though, isn't it? I guess in general, speed this footage up, otherwise it's a bit boring, but it's good to see that they actually come out, the fixings are good. Dropping spanner, and they were a um, and they were a five sixteenth Whitworth, which somebody actually bought as these spanners a long time ago, and um, we haven't done much spannering, so I can't actually remember who bought them. But well, thank you so much. Well, I'm going to take the rest of them out, and then we'll get it away then. Do you need to um, test this before I paint it? Yes. God. She gave me the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know what I do now. <laughs> do I A, send it back and ask her to turn it around and bring it back the other way, or do I just like struggle like, um, like, um, some, of, some of us do have them. What was he called? I don't know. Um, no, that wasn't too bad that, actually. Yeah. Beyond your, before your time. Yeah, I'm a bit too young for that one. Even though some of our viewers think I'm um, older than you. <laughs> not really. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not asking you again how old I am. But for the record, I am... FYI. 37. And Simon is 44. Right, how do you get on with cleaning that up? You've been gone for a while. Yeah, it's boring and I don't like cleaning stuff up. Ooh, so. spe speaking of cleaning stuff up, we've just got something, haven't we? <sighs> Check this, Peach. <laughs> it's actually in pretty good condition. All the bolts come out of it, apart from that one there, was a bit... Well... It's absolutely minging now. No, it's fine. Look, I've, I've literally wire brushed it to under the nuts and it's like clean. It's good. Back in my little cleaning hole then. She loves it really. Right, so the reason I brought this web frame back in is so I can see where we need to cut, or to see how much meat we've got on this, so we can cut it as far down as we can. So I've put the web frame back in just to remind myself of how much length we had. So we've actually got quite a bit. So I think we're going to go for the scarf, maybe like around here somewhere. Because then we can take this piece out and then we can put a sister in along this stringer.
Who knows about I don't know, 12 or 13 or something like that. My dad bought me a pair of vice grips, which were like the best vice grips at the time. So I was quite, I was really young at the time, but it was like the absolute dogs in in vice grips. So I used to just carry these vice grips around me all my life, dear. All my life. I'd have been in my school bag and everything. I used to fix like leaky radiators and stuff at school. That just brought back memories and use, using more grips. Because cause I used to I used to round everything off and I used to like just damage stuff and he said, Well if you're gonna do it you may as well have have have, have, have the, the sort of the proper ones. And then I lent them to my mate many years ago, never got them back, so you know it's like with tools, it's a bit it's a bit gutting, isn't it? But it's good. It's good sort of teaching your life and so so give give him your kids some tools and then Obviously, that's all I've ever done since, is use tools, so... Thanks, Dad! Mm. Right, so Gemma's now coming here to do your favourite thing, aren't you? Paint and boat time! Get your, get your good side. <laughs> just turn around, <laughs> just turn around a minute. <laughs> Catch me in my fall. So this is obviously we're going to be having a frame going in at some point. Well, not in the near future, but definitely at some point. Um, and this is where the web frame is. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress too much because no. like we're going to be gluing there, there. And you're going to leave it. And then you'd be spraying it. You'd be leaning on it, leaning on it. So they're gonna paint it there as well. Just, just sort of lean on it. Yeah. Okay. FFS, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does FFS mean? What does FFS Celtic. mean? You have to say it quietly. Right. That's it. That's it. So there's, there's your thing. I've just remembered something else as well. What? The knee. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is over there. The knee's over there. Because if you can see it from there. So, so you're not going to see me today. I'm just going to be stuck in here just grinding. <laughs> Do you grind and then clean up your, your mess and then you start grinding again? Yeah. Is I'm, that the woman mentality? Yeah, I keep me working. <laughs> right, I'll go back in my little hole. Whoever's like, us men will just destroy the place, make a right mess, and then clean it all up at the end. Okay, I'm gonna trust the accuracy of that in that position. Okay, so this piece is shaped and we're planning on putting a sister along here, so we will reuse this piece, but we'll we'll shorten it down by the thickness of the stringer, of the sister, sorry, on the stringer. So we're going to be putting a, a stringer across there, but we still need to be able to retain the original bolt position for the floor. So what we need to do is actually put a piece in here, which is then attached to the stringer. So I think, I think we'll make the sister first, we'll square all these back up, then we'll work out some some cuts in these so then when that piece goes in it all sandwiches together i know it's not a proper scarf but it'll be like a bit of a it'll tighten up on itself right let's go and make a sister so i measured that exactly a meter so strange number in it for a boat especially an old boat let's see if this works
Look at your mess. Such a messy worker. I've got a complaint. Go on. It's really hard on my arms, and do you know why it is? Because the bench and the vice are so hard. My hands are like that with the grinder. <laughs> <laughs> so if it was down there, it'd be ideal. So can we have like a gemma size bench over there? Yes. Make my life a bit easier. Well, I think, I think once once we've done all these deck beams and stuff like that in this room, then we can start actually kitting this room out, can't we? Mm -hmm. Do it to be like a temporary workshop. Yeah. So I know we've got a temporary workshop here, but it's tiny, isn't it? Tiny. Oh, no. uh, so is that your only complaint? Uh, for, for now. Yeah. But it's quite early on in, in the day, so plenty of time for that later. So we do now. You can knee. Cleaning the knee. It's a knee, isn't it? Knee, yeah. Well, it's actually spelled no. No, it's a knee. 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 Some good copper nails in there. Yeah. Whoa, it's a messy one. I love it when they're like, the wood's just dead rotten. <laughs> Makes it a bit easier, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so when you're buying a boat, they will make sure it's really rotten. Then yeah. it makes life so much easier. The hell? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And when you buy the boat, make sure it's the wife's idea. <laughs> this wasn't my idea. It was. You started it. I st did I start it? Yeah, yeah. whatever. Right, I'm going to go and get back in there anyway. Would lie to you. Didn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck. But she lets me pick her up. When we're going dancing My heart stops beating When my headlights shining on her She's my country girl I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me She's so damn out of my league She's a little bit crazy Can you um, open that for me? It's just the one thing I can't do. I can't loosen the, the, the grinder. Well, a second ago, I heard a grinder, and all of a sudden, you know, when you hear a grinder, it goes, Dude! and it gets snagged in something. That means that's when you really tighten them up. You. So I, I need it in. Oh, a strong man. Yeah, no, it got stuck between the what I was grinding and the vice. And, <laughs> um, yeah, look. Can't work with gloves on. I, I sort of chewed, <laughs> chewed it up a little bit. Okay, you meant to use this side, yeah? <laughs> that mask is sort of working, because you're getting a dirty mouth. Thanks, boss. Most, most welcome. Right, back to my cleaning corner. Time to clean up! <laughs> so, time to clean up. Uh, and not just the floor by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, the light. So sometimes you can get a bit bored of the same colour, can't you? So I've got this little floor. So that's had four coats of zinc primer now. But what I haven't told Simon, I'm going to paint it copper. So shh, let's do it and see what he says.
and it's raining outside so I've had to now move inside for painting. Lovely weather. I got bored of black. That's pretty cool, that. I just fancied the change. And I've like not painted any floors before, so I thought we'd go copper. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to do this one black because it has to match all the others. Yeah. Well, that's really good. That's a good idea. Well done. Are you nervous? These fingers are going to be like, what have you done that for? <laughs> it's rust colour. It matches the rest, doesn't it? <laughs> Is that the first coat? Yeah. I'm going to give it a few. Yeah. yeah I think it, this is quite copper. Yeah. It does look really good, doesn't it, Charlie? Right, paint this one black now. Right, it's so looking a bit straighter now. So what we're going to do is just a little cut there and there on the original, and then we'll put a piece in, and it'll give some air for the bolts to go in on the floor for you. Better. Awkward. So we've set the saw to 45 degrees because we're trying to make it easy for ourselves. Right, so we've just done a quick test fit. It all seems to line up quite nicely. So I think we'll get some glue out. And then we'll nut and bolt it all together, then it'll be nice and strong. May as well drill it now before we start getting the glue out. And it's still clumped in position, so... Just find a safe, safe place to nail. Right, so they're all drilled now, so we'll pull it all out, we'll glue it up, throw some bolts in it, make it nice and tight. Bet Gemma's ears prick up in a minute. Right, let's get gluey with it.
Right, best clean up this glue before Gemma notices how much excess we've got. Change of plan. We need to refit this piece that goes in there. So what we're going to do is scrape some glue from there and put it on there. So, <laughs> ignore the face, I haven't got time to clean it. I have to pull with that all the time. <laughs> right, so Simon's done a fab job while I've been on the cleaning duties. Um, but the issue we've got now is the web frame that I've done can't go in because we've got a frame to do up there. The floor that I've done can't go in until the web frame's in and the knee that I've done can't go in until the web frame's in and we can't open the deck to put a frame in because it is absolutely don't know whether you can see it is chucking it down out there and because it's chucking it down out there it's also raining in here so we've realised uh, we've got a bit of firefighting to do um, Every time we come in, this bucket is full of water, like balancing on the edge. So we're leaking from loads of places. So what we're going to do now is to protect our fresh work, you're going to make a gutter, aren't you? Yes. Which apparently the Cutty Sark has copied us. Or we might have copied them, I don't know. Have you ever been on the Cutty Sark? No, but somebody sent me a picture. And they had? And they had a similar design to us, so we're going to copy them. That's going to fall. No, it's not. <laughs> it just moved. <laughs> so we've got the same problem in the bow area as well. So I've emptied these. Literally, we're all all full. I've emptied them. I've put a bigger bucket there, so that should be catching them leaks. So everything's just a big balance and active buckets on the hull trying to get all the fresh water that we can. Um, okay, this one needs emptying. Oh no, it doesn't. I thought it was full then. That one needs repositioning because I've just seen a drip that is not going in the bucket. Where's that got? Yes, look. Can you see that water there? So, where are you leaking from? It's like a case of like come and put in a bucket and then like oh no that needs to go there. Alright, let's pull some sheets up. Where's it cut? Oh look, look. Yeah look. Well done the summer. How the hell's it coming through? Let me see where it's coming through. Through the gap. Oh. No one is rotten. I still feel solid that piece of water. <laughs> you know what I mean though. <laughs> right. Let's make some gutters. And it also looks like our sheet there has gone up. So we need to go outside and check that. We lifted a bit there. But it's not nice to go outside and fix sheets when the weather's like that. So I'm going to try and fix this. Do you know what the light on this boat's awful? So I apologise for the big bright light. I'm going to fix this leak with a string line and a screw. How will you ask? I don't know. 
gonna fix it. You're gonna... Well, I'm gonna try and get my water into a bucket. So. Don't you just mess around with this like I'm not Woo! Hang on, hang on, I'm gonna that. I can't see what I'm doing. We are like, like movie. Oh. Movie theaters, you get the, the get the torch out. Get the get the um Oh check that for a shot now. Is it right in your face? It's alright. It's past the sunglasses. Right, so you can tell that was stainless, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it went in my build, shall I just get another one? Right. So when I've got the water dripping through. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stick a screw right into the drip hole. Oh, that's good. Now it opens it up and it's leaking on that place in it. <laughs> right, it's gonna have two. It's gonna have two screws. <laughs> You're not gonna stop it. Right. So that's a bit excessive, isn't it? Right. So now we've got two. We've got. We've got a leak here now as well. Okay. So I'm gonna stick another screw into there. Okay. I get my string. Right. I don't think Simon's going to be happy that I'm just going to cut his string line. So I'm just going to cut the ends of that one. I'm going to do the same to this one. Can you see what I'm going for here? Or is your mind still a bit boggled? So now, what we're hoping is going to happen here is the water's going to track down the string and into the bucket. Hey, it's working. Can you see that? So the water's now going down the string. <laughs> That's quite good. Look, you can actually see it. So then it'll go all the way down and into there. And I've got another one now, a little gutter going on. All going into the bucket. So if you can't fix your decks, just let it go into a bucket like that, it's fine. You know what we could do it now? What? Like a bilge pump in each bucket just to go out. <laughs> yeah, so if only there was a way of like it just coming off the deck. <laughs> do you think you could drink that? And then, no, have you seen yeah. how rotten our decks are? Yeah. But one day soon we won't need one buckets. Day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. Right, we're going to do this side now. <laughs> I'm sure there's loads of sides that need doing, isn't there? Yeah, it's just quite. There's quite a lot around there, to be honest with you. Oh. I don't know what it's like. It doesn't usually come in this bad. It doesn't look. It's even there as well. Yeah, I think we need to go and actually assess outside and see what see where it's holding water. Yeah, because it doesn't normally come in as bad there, so there, there, there is a problem up top. Let's go see. The thing is, all the sheets have been through a winter and they've also been through us lifting them back and forwards. Yeah. So much yeah. to do all the beam shelf on that area is that they need refreshing and we left it too late into the winter to have the weather to do it didn't yeah. we um so even i think obviously we're able to get the decks on this year but it might mm. work on the next dry day actually giving it a resheet it's just boring isn't it? it is boring but you gotta gotta keep the fresh out haven't you so right let's Hold on, should we do rock, paper, scissors for who's going outside? It's going to be me. It is. <laughs> We're not even playing that game. Bye! So we've actually got water holding along here, so this screw is, and I think it's going back under this sheet and then dripping down there. We've actually got a lot of water holding around here. Well, the boat is actually listed about half a degree to starboard at the moment, so... We don't normally list that way, obviously we've been through some weather, it's only half a degree but because the decks aren't, haven't got the camber to them, everything's flat because we've just got temporary bits of plywood down. It's very sensitive to how she sits depending on where she leaks so we'll try and fix this sheet a little bit but there's not much you can do is there. And because we're listing as well we've got like a bit of a puddle going on there. 
So what, what ideally we want is all to run off, sort of get a bit of weight on the sheet maybe. As Gemma pointed out, could we change all the sheets at some point? Simon's just asked me for some washers to help with the sheets outside. So these ones were sent to us by Peter G. So thank you so much, Peter. They are going to come in very handy to keep our boat water tighter. Re, re, re. <laughs> there you go. Now I've put a few washers on it and stuff like that to try and hold it down a bit. The water's finding a path now. It's not holding anymore in this corner. It's sort of running down here now. So. I'll have to do, won't it? You know when you said you were going to take me to a waterfall? Mm. <laughs> Didn't think this is what you were going to mean. <laughs> I just don't think I'm going to be able to cope with that noise. Obviously we were sleeping on here now, but hopefully when we come back next time it won't be raining. Well, well we're fixing leaks and firefighting for the rest of the day. I think we're going to say goodbye, are we? So thank you for watching and come back next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that sort of jazz because actually I've been proved it does actually help. So if you don't mind, just sort of like and subscribe. Leave a comment as well. Cheers guys. See you all next week. <laughs> Bye for now. Massive thank you to all of our patrons and supporters who make this project possible. Cheers guys.